Good morning, it is Saturday, it's super early, it's like 7.30, and we're actually gonna have kind of a busy day today, I think, believe it or not. North Carolina opened back up yesterday at 5 p.m., so Home Goods and Marshalls are opening today at 10 o'clock in the morning. I saw online, and um, my girlfriend, one of her friends, works for Marshalls, and they said they like literally mark like everything to clearance because they just have so much stuff and they like just need to sell it. So I wasn't gonna go, but I was like, Ugh, that would be kind of interesting just to see like how crazy it is and obviously I haven't been to Marshalls in an extremely long time the Marshalls by me gets crazy like even literally 11 o'clock on a Tuesday and the line will be like wrapped around four times it's like a really I don't know why it's so crazy it's an extremely crowded always Marshall so I don't know if people are gonna like flood this place because it's just reopening or if people are still a little hesitant and they're not going to but I thought it would be kind of interesting to go and just kind of see what it's like is it a zoo is it dead are there actually like really insanely like is everything marked down like crazy so I think I'm gonna go to that and then we're going to get lunch out. So it's gonna be a little bit of a busy morning. I ordered something for Kohl's for like drive up pickup. So um, I'm gonna need to grab that too. So just kind of a busy morning. So I wanna get my workout out of the way like super, super early here. So I'm gonna start my workout now, be done by hopefully like a little after eight, make breakfast, shower, get ready, and then hopefully I can be at Marshall's by like 9.45. So I don't know if there's gonna be a line or whatnot, but it'll be interesting to see what the situation is. That's the plan for today. <laughs> Let's get to it. I also like kind of worked on arranging my stuff in my this is gonna be like my workout little closet now Which I love so I kind of started arranging things. It's not really done But I'm kind of starting to make use of this which has been in here since we moved here And I've never used it for anything especially once I get more weights and stuff I'm gonna need to make this a little bit more functional. <sighs> Can you even see me? It's not even 830 yet. Wow I'm so red. This is how my face gets whenever I do cardio my face just gets super red, oh my gosh. It's not even 8.30 and I'm already done with my workout. I did a 30 minute like Tabata style cardio, so it was literally just cardio for a half hour. Like no breaks, no breaks longer than 10 seconds the entire time, literally. So it was basically just cardio for half an hour straight. So that was exhausting. I burned 400 calories in 30 minutes, which is crazy. That's like 15 calories a minute or something like that. Whew, but I was so sweaty, but it was only half an hour, so I got it done. And I love that it's 8.30 and my workout's already done. So now I'm gonna make a quick breakfast and then shower. I don't wanna wash my hair because I, I my hair is usually pretty good. Like, I, not that it's, my hair is trained. I don't know if I believe in like training your hair, but my hair is pretty good at not getting like crazy oily until like day four. I can usually go like four or five days, but lately because I've been working out literally every single day, being outside, laying out in the sun and getting sweaty, my hair has just been getting so gross so quickly. And I feel like I've been washing it like every three days maybe. And I really don't want to get back in the habit of washing my hair so often because I love that I'm usually able to go like four or five days and I don't want to like, you know, if my hair is trained to whatever degree, I don't want to like backtrack any of that by just washing my hair a ton during quarantine. So even though my hair is like disgusting, I need to not wash it even though I really want to wash it. So I'm trying to push through at least one more day. Oh my gosh. I just filmed, well I thought I was filming me pouring my coffee in. And it wasn't filming. And it looked so beautiful because it was in a glass mug. Wow, that's so annoying. But look how beautiful and foamy it is. Here's what it looked like. <laughs> Ah, I was so excited because you can see it from the side because it's glass. But anyway, it looks amazing. I've got bacon going in the air fryer. It's almost done. I've never done this. I know a lot of people say you can't cook bacon in the air fryer, so. I'm following a recipe from Delish, though. Like, I feel like Delish is, like, reputable, so I'm very excited. But I'm actually trying, I think it's kind of like a TikTok recipe for, like, a breakfast quesadilla. So you put the egg in here, kind of spread it out. And then while it's still wet, you put the quesadilla in it. And then the egg kind of like cooks, you know, onto the quesadilla so that when you flip it, the egg is kind of like, you know, one with the quesadilla. And then I want to put some bacon and cheese in the middle and kind of make like a breakfast taco burrito. All right, I'm excited. Let's see how this went. Oh. Okay, I definitely cooked it for too long. I mean, it looks delicious, but I definitely cooked it for too long. That like shrunk by 80%. <laughs> it's a little too crispy for me, but okay, good to know. All right, so check it out. Ready, set. Whoa. Cool, right? And then I'm gonna what crumble some bacon into it and some cheese, and then like you fold it over like a taco. Good idea, huh? Mm-hmm. 
Chloe. Wait, that bacon was meant for me. No, that bacon is yours. Oh. And I just kind of grill it up on both sides. I put a little cheese in there. Heck yeah. All right, y'all, we are out and about in the car. It's not even 9.30 yet. And I've already worked out, made and ate breakfast, showered and got dressed, and I'm on the road by 9.30 on a Saturday. Normally, I would like have barely even started drinking my coffee by now. And I will, I can't really show you right now, obviously, because I'm driving, but I literally put on jeans, I have a sweater, I have sneakers on, like I'm actually, this is probably like as dressed as I've gotten pretty much all quarantine. I've, I've worn jeans one other time, I know that for sure. But we are about to go see what is the situation at Marshall's. So there are definitely quite a few cars. The parking lot is not like packed, but it also doesn't open for half an hour. So I would say for half an hour before opening, this is kind of a lot of cars. And like I can tell they're all just people sitting in their cars waiting. I don't know if people are gonna start like lining up because I don't know if they're only gonna let like a certain number of people in or what. But I parked like not in the parking lot. I'm like right next to the building like the Marshall sign is right here So I have a pretty good eye, but there's a plant like a big bush So I don't have a great eye, but I'm very close But if I want to be here so early I'd obviously like to get in line if there is going to be a line so I don't have to You know end up getting here early for no reason, but I also don't know if some of these people are like just employees Yeah, so there's actually quite a line it's a, Wow, it's an extremely long line. Holy shit I was not expecting that. Wow, this is crazy. <laughs> this is so funny. Everyone's cheering. That's what we heard. That's why we're here. Yeah. <laughs> really good right now. All the Easter is 75 off. Wow. Holy shit. Wow. Y'all, literally all the sneakers are on clearance. For like 18 bucks, these months are 11. What? Y'all, everything is so, so cheap. I'm starting to fill my card up a little bit here. Slowly. And they're only letting like 214 people in, so it's, the lines are not even crazy, which is awesome. I got a good amount of stuff here. All right, we are back in the car. Got my honey. I just put my hair up because the windows were open. Actually, I want to open the windows again. Um, I will, I literally was at Marshall's for about an hour. Uh, yeah, a little over an hour between from when I got there to when I left. So I was only shopping for about 40 minutes, so not too bad. I got a really good haul, I think. I don't know how, I wasn't even paying attention to the prices, but I literally got a ton of stuff for basically no money. It was kind of wild. My girlfriend actually, <laughs> that I used to work with, was texting me asking me to get her a pair of sneakers because she saw it on my story and she's like my sneakers are literally falling apart I need you to get me a pair so I was like sending her pictures of the sneakers in her size and I picked up a pair of shoes for her so I can do a little haul when we get home but I literally got home just in time for us to hop back in the car I took the bags out of the car and now we're on our way to get lunch so we're gonna grab that we have not been like into the city here in like a really long time huh? No it's been a while. I've never been in this area either. I don't recognize any of this. So we're gonna grab a lunch really quick and then uh, we might actually be stopping a couple places to grab a bunch of food and then we'll go home, we'll eat. I'll show you the goods. We have some to-do list stuff today, huh, honey? Mm -mm. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. Very uncomfortable around your ears. Oh, I don't think so. My mom makes those things so that you don't have to put them around your ears. I can never send you one. Wow, you like the name I just thought of? You never like anything I think of. I <laughs> Yes, it doesn't matter if you smile or not. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Look guys, I actually put jeans and sneakers on. This is a big deal. 
we have jeans and sneakers on. We're really dressed. Don't be not blowing here, friends. Oh, we're about to grab some lunch. There's a, there's a line everywhere I go today. <laughs> I've been waiting in lines all day today. Michelle. Michelle, I'm Joe. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. All right, we got some tacos. Make sure you squeeze the lime on them. These look so good, like smoked pulled chicken tacos. Yum. I love the tor that the tortillas are like grilled. <laughs> Why are you eating it like that? It's delicious. Pretty good. Nice. All right, I'm going into Tropical Smoothie Cafe because those were so good yesterday. And Ken was, was really good, so we're getting another one because we're so obsessed with them. We acquired some additional goods. We are obsessed with nothing but cakes. And it was kind of right next to Tropical Smoothie Cafe. We got the same one that we got Ken yesterday. It doesn't taste as good. I think the other one we went to made it way more deliciouser. <laughs> but it's still pretty good. These are massive too. Like literally this is bigger than my head. So we got a smoothie, we got the tacos, we got the cake, and now we are about to go get two different types of wings. So we are doing all the things today. Happy Saturday to us. Ooh, look at that flower place. All right, now we're down in South End and we're getting some wings. All right, these are the wings we got from Hawkers. We are so excited because it's very extremely hard to find battered wings down here in the South. So these are battered. You have to request them to be battered, but they also come naked. And then they're double fried wings. Wow, these smell so good. They're all so battered. Those look amazing. And this is, um, I should look up. I forget what these are tossing. This is like some kind of garlic, Asian garlic sauce. And then this is sweet Thai chili. Okay, so those wings were amazing we have not had like nice fried wings like that in so long they were super good but i'm home obviously i'm upstairs and i just laid out my marshall's goodies so i thought i could show that to y'all just super quick like i said almost everything was on clearance so i just grabbed another pair of gardening gloves these were in the checkout line and i literally just saw them and i was like oh holy crap i need garden gloves they were three bucks and these are really nice they're like rubber so i think they're gonna be like a really good kind of quality and not like get too wet. I got three pairs of Under Armour shorts. I couldn't try anything on, so I don't know how these are going to fit, but I got these blue pair. These are all 10 bucks each. I got this like mauve and black pair. And then this pair is like a little bit different. It's like hot pink and gray, and this one like ties. So I got to try these on. And then I got this pair of Reebok, like just like lounge sweatpants. Apparently these cost $70 originally, and I got them for five. Which is insane. They're like this really pretty like lavender gray. And they're just kind of like a jogger style. So I thought that was a crazy good deal. And then I also got this Reebok. It's kind of like a cropped-ish like boxy little crew neck. And this was apparently $55 originally. And I got it for 6 Again, I feel like they were literally just giving stuff away. I got this New Balance sports bra, just in like this really nice, I need some more just like neutral sports bras like this that will just go with anything. Uh, where's the tag on this? This was $5, which is also crazy. It's kind of pretty, it's like a little bit just kind of strappy. I don't know, I thought that was nice. Again, haven't tried this on yet. And then I also grabbed this Puma sports bra. I kind of like sports bras that are a little higher neck like this. They're like a little more coverage, kind of almost like a tank top. And I love that it was just black and gray and white because it will match with anything. And this one was $10. And I think full price, it says this was $28. So again, that's awesome. This was like one of the only things I got that wasn't on sale. I've been wanting one of these kind of like acid washed Adidas um, baseball hats, like the denim ones, for so long. And I typically like the men's ones better than the women's, but this looked pretty cute. So I grabbed this. I've been wanting that and I just like stumbled upon it. So I was excited about that. And then I honestly get almost all of my nail polish from Marshalls and Home Goods because you can get OPI and SE and so many good brands for literally like three bucks. And how pretty is this color? It's called Susie Chase's Portuguese. <laughs> but it's almost white but it's kind of like a purpley gray pink like slightly you know more leaning in that direction than white but it's really really light I thought this would be so pretty because I love white nail polish and this is just slightly you know more interesting than white so I loved that when I first went over to the coffee syrup section was which was the literal first thing I did when I walked in the door because I almost ran out oh excuse my nails I need to do them so bad <laughs> But I've almost ran out of coffee syrup, but Marshall's is like the main place that I get it. 
and I fell in love with this coffee syrup and when I went over to the section all I saw was like mango and strawberry and like all the more cocktail syrups not the coffee syrups and then I saw two of these like kind of in the back and I could not believe they had these because these are my favorite and I don't see them very often so I snagged both of those this was like my main reason for going there to be honest and then I snagged two pairs of shoes I'm so excited look at these new balance they're like this really pretty like mauve I just realized I got a lot of this color like this and this and this and this they're kind of all in the same like mauve grayish purple color family these are the fresh foams apparently so I'm not sure what that means but these were only $16 and then these ones are actually half a size small they're only a size nine a nine and a half but I tried them on and they fit really nice this is another pair of New Balance these are just kind of simple they're kind of cool they don't even like actually have a tongue like the tongue is just kind of part of the shoe you know so they're kind of different than any sneaker I've had before but I thought these were really nice just kind of a plain white and again these were $16 so super super inexpensive i thought these were just kind of cool and simple good for working out and then one of my girlfriends like i said that i used to work with asked me to pick her up a pair of shoes so i sent her a bunch of pictures and she picked these which i am so jealous because i love these these are like new balance they have the really cool like little i don't even know what to call it it's like a little stripe right here it's so pretty on the tongue and then it has like the teal i really like these and these were also i think like 15 dollars. she's a size seven so these are so tiny but I wish they had these in my size. I love these. So that is the haul. I think I like made out pretty, pretty good. Like I got great deals. Again, I have to try all this on. I don't know if any of it's going to have to go back. But amazing deal. As you saw, literally almost everything I bought was on clearance. So that's a win. Which I am literally obsessed Yeah, let me see. With. This is the fit I wore out. And I was really feeling myself. Oh, yeah, you cute. Right? You're tan too. Thanks. I've been really trying. Okay, okay, so Caitlin's gonna give her um, Marshall's haul. I, I already showed y'all mine, but I just showed her. So here's her Marshall's haul. All right, so I did PJ sets because I literally don't own any PJ sets. Yeah, that's sets. so weird that you don't have any. Why would I? I don't sleep with anybody or like... I know, but just to be like cute when you're hanging out around the house, like if you have people over. So I got... This is Cal... Oh, Cal nice. I didn't look at the PJ stuff. Actually, I should look at that. Oh, I like that. Which is kind of a major throwback because it's got the little built-in kitty store. <laughs> so since we're on the PJ trend, I need I need to find a man because I want to wear this PJ. <laughs> Everything's clear. And yeah, okay. The polish I got. Um, these like kind of do the same thing, like go over your butt really nice. Yeah. And then just like, uh, nice, like breathe top. And matching sets are just everything. And then I got one sports bra, which I'm super excited about. It was six bucks. And kind of like you said, it, it's like high. Oh, I want that. It was six dollars? Yeah. What brand is that? Airy. Oh, nice. I, Airy. I love their uh, stuff. Oh, I love how high neck that is. I I can't even wait to show you. This is my favorite. Uh oh. Buy. Don't even touch me. I don't know how I found it. Uh oh. But you're gonna be mad, yeah, probably. Wait, what? Oh, are those mom jeans? Yeah, kind of. From where? So I took a picture and then my first of all, these fit me amazingly, like so so. Are those Abercrombie? Abercrombie. What? Six dollars. What? Six dollars. Are they high waisted? Yeah, they're high waisted. And then Ooh. this is like a. Is that a workout? Top? Uh, no, it's more. It's like thicker. It's okay. Like just like still. Um, this is American Eagle. This was four fifty. Wow. So and then this was the top that I was wearing in that selfie. Oh yeah, I was wondering like, about that. The white jeans. So it's like a kind of a higher neck. Oh yeah. I got this. I got a lot of leopard. I love that. Because I was kind of going for the same vibe. Like, obviously, if shit opens up, I need to, like, look presentable. Yeah, that's the thing. I don't have, like, yeah, stuff like that. Like, flowy, cute, mm -hmm. like, oh, yeah, that's and it's nice. like I like that pattern a lot. Oh, there's another really exciting thing that I got. Um, this top was five bucks, so I felt like I just, like, should get it. It's just, like, a, just a polka dot. Oh, yeah, like, that's good for work. Super, super freaking excited about this. This was five bucks as well. <gasps> Oh, I love stuff that like buttons up the middle like that. That's really is that velvet kind of? Uh huh. So it's navy blue velvet. Yeah. And you know, it's it's um made well. Oh hell yeah! That was probably like eighty bucks full price. Yeah. So oh, it still has the made well tag. Yeah. Forty bucks. Wow. No, that's the clearance that's... price. That's the made well clearance price on oh, there. Oh, oh right. Eighty five. Told you I was gonna be eighty bucks. What the? I so told you. Five. Wow. Bucks. 
That would be really cute with those white jeans, yo, and just some sandals. I took a selfie in that exact <laughs> Ooh, that's really wow. Is that kind of peplumy? Ooh, that's cute. Mm -hmm. But it's like I don't know how Ooh. I feel about it, but it's kind of workouty. It's like high neck, but oh, it's like a cowl neck. Yeah, I know. So I found this graphic tee. <gasps> it's that's also what I need to look at is the graphic tees. I love that a lot. Right. Tie that up in the front right here with some high waisted mm -hmm. shorts. And then. I got this like hair serum. I was looking at all the hair stuff. The hair stuff was like almost free. I got this color in Essie just because I love this oh, color. Oh, yeah. That's funny that we both got one random nail polish. Did it break? No, we're good. Oh. <laughs> Body scrub with hemp seeds. Oh, I just like the packaging of that. That's really cute. Right? Like I, I, you are so right. I actually have to go back then. I was just. <laughs> so now we're over here both being like the shopping addicts we are and be like, well, we got such good deals today, we should probably go back tomorrow and just see. I, I was like, I'm probably gonna buy today. She's like, yeah, I should go back tomorrow too. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Winnie girl. Hi, who's a beautiful girl? She's really confused. Look at that sweet, beautiful girl. Hi, beautiful. <laughs> oh my gosh, stop, she looks so cute. I love it. <laughs> She's so little. Hi, sweet girl. She's so cute. And oh she'll just like chill with me. I freaking love her, I miss her. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and then she'll rub against my face sometimes. I don't know what this is. I'm obsessed with her. She's so freaking cute. Yeah, but she hates Honestly. everybody. So if you ever see her again, she's going to be a bit. All right, we're setting up our, this thing. Macrame plant hanger. Oh, yeah, that looks cool, right? Well, it's quite so pale. Yeah, I kind of like that because I like how the gray and the white goes with the white of the macrame, yeah. Hi, sweet boy. Yeah, make sure you have the nice side facing out. Da na na na! It looks amazing! I just love that because that space is kind of empty, so I feel like that is so perfect. Doesn't that just like fill in that space? We have like a little basket of blankets back there, and then I feel like that just fills in the space so nicely. I felt like it was longer than that. Are you sure that's what they said? Which is really basically just this thing. <laughs> You're doing great. Thanks. Look, Ken did it. So this is the, we need to wash our tools. But this is a like thing that he installed and it came with like a million of these different like hooks that you can configure. So we fit three tools on that guy, two on there. We actually had those chairs hanging here. But, and then we like kind of weren't using this thing anymore. So I decided to put those back on that hanging thing. So then we have those hanging there and some tools hanging here. He's gonna add a few more things. Yeah, that's what we're working with. I think this is awesome. This is literally such a good solution to having the tools just laying all over the ground, all over the wall. So now literally everything's off the ground. So perfect, I can link this for you guys. It was from uh, Home Depot and it was like a really, really, really good deal. I think full price, it was like 80 bucks. I got it for like 50, so I'm super excited. Ken decided to use <laughs> the empty spaces to hang all the puka stuff. That's how you know he's a loser. <laughs> but honestly, I love it. It's perfect. I love carrot cake now. Yeah, it's good. It's so good. <laughs> all right, I just reheated our appetizer and air fryer. Ooh. And they came out super crispy, of course. Okay, y'all, dinner is ready. This is another Home Chef meal. Like I said, I'm filming a separate video of all my Home Chef meals this week, so I'm not including that in the vlogs just for this week, but this is garlic ginger shrimp with coconut risotto. It just looks so healthy and flavorful. So Ken is not really crazy about most seafood. I just can't get over this. This looks like a freaking picture. I mean, it's pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. He's been eating for so long and he hasn't he tried so a freaking shrimp. I don't like the shrimp <laughs> really? Yeah. That dinner was so freaking good. What are you doing on the table, Sweet Boy? I finally got my vlog from yesterday done. I usually, as y'all know, I usually do this like first thing in the morning when I wake up before my workout, but since I literally worked out at like 7 30 this morning, I did not get around to this yet. Um, also, I sliced my finger open 
while I was making dinner on like the lid of the coconut milk can. So now I'm just finishing up getting this video up, um, like doing the thumbnail and all that good stuff. And then I think we're gonna make some drinks and watch some Ozark. The usual, well the drinks are not the usual, the Ozark is definitely the usual though. I'm making some rum and cokes with lime and for me, ginger beer, of course. Coconut rum also, of course. All right, give it a taste. Delicioso. Look at this sweet boy. Nope. Hi, sweet boy. Hi, sweet beautiful girl. Look at everyone in my family. No. Uh, uh. All right, y'all know the drill when I'm sitting here. <laughs> It is the end of the night. I had such an awesome, awesome day today. Like literally, there were so many awesome things about today. It's a good, good Saturday. The weather could have been a tiny bit better, but otherwise it was wonderful. We just watched two episodes of Ozark because we're hooked. I think we're getting pretty close to the end of season three. It's getting hard to like stop watching after each episode because you just want to know what happens. But I don't know, this episode actually wasn't, it didn't end on a cliffhanger or anything, so. We are hitting the hay and I will see you guys tomorrow.